Well, May 11th, beautiful afternoon. Couldn't ask for a better filming day. As part of the, the woven wind uh, shelter in here. I'm filming the front reef way out there. I, I really wanted to do uh, a little bit of a uh, diversify the video. And part of my kit, uh, let's see, I carry a good supply of lighters. I still have, uh, I've got best matches. I've got another uh, four more of a package of four more of these in, in the bottom of the pack. And this here, those are just pouches right here. And there's the fishing kit. It's just full of hooks and sinkers and lures. have a bit of a snaring kit here. And it's got seven or eight prepared snares and then one roll of wire I can always make more from. But wire's good to have. You can use it for almost anything. And some of the hardware. I've got Swiss Champ and a fire steel set. And then I have a, another Swiss Champ, canoe proof, of course. And then I have another little knife there. And I have a couple more fire steels. want to lose those. And screwdrivers. Always carry a, two or three of these. You never know when a screwdriver will come in handy. You could auger holes in wood with them or you could, uh, if you're fossil hunting, you could do crevicing work and and rock crevices with them, you name it, they're, they're important too. <clears throat> and uh, uh, what else do we have? We have a couple rolls of trail tape. And somewhere in here I, I do have now there's one compass. set of binoculars, small set. And of course, the phone. If you have a phone, some electronic piece of gear, uh, you know, I'll keep it powered up or have a backup battery or something. Have this little solar panel kit. You can keep that running. That's a pretty powerful piece of survival gear if you're in the woods. Now here we have, it used to be a file, but 
I smoothed it down and it works fine as a, a striker. As a for flint and steel, it's pretty much perfect. It throws really good sparks. And I got to see the sea uh, striker. That throws good sparks too in a couple pieces of flint. Uh, next, my canteens. I've got many different kinds of canteens. Now that is a GIMS kit. Well, let's back this up a bit. It has a pot, a lid, a small stove. You can, you can uh, put a trangia stove in it or burn wood in it. And another type of little canteen or water bottle. But I've got the various kinds of uh, World War one in World War II canteens, uh, except they don't, they're not the GI mess kit. That is a GI mess kit. The, uh, the whole idea, if you want to pack light, carry a GI mess kit. You can boil, your, boil water for coffee, you can cook food in it, you don't have to carry any, you don't have to carry two mess kits or, or you don't even have to mix up two or three mess kits to make a larger one. Keep it simple. One pot, one lid and uh, it will make a, a short hike. It will be convenient on a short hike, yes. The, uh, the hardware well, I love these knives because you can do almost anything with them. You can whittle down a, a canoe paddle or you could make figure four, tr uh, figure four triggers for dead fall traps. You could, you could use these on, on, uh, on wood, stone, uh, yeah, wood, stone, shell, you can utilize these to make many things or different kinds of materials. And uh, I guess you can see this is, some people might call this a little overkill, but this is, a, this is what I'm comfortable with carrying. Yeah. It's, uh, it's all a mind set. You can either be prepared to be in the woods for a long time and make yourself comfortable, or you can only dream about it. And I made sure that I was well prepared. The woods, are just out there. That is a gateway. cross over that hill and cross one road and then you can go through a nice little a nice little triangle of wilderness to another single road and cross that and from there you can go through a much bigger piece of wilderness you could travel literally 50 miles by crossing four or five roads, but it's all, you could do it just walking through woods and then cross the road, walk through woods, then cross the road and walk through woods. That's how big the country is. You see it's not, it is not well developed. It is not well developed at all compared down, compared to places in the U.S. This is uh, much underdeveloped. Yeah, maybe one day this summer I will get out to do. I, yeah, I'll take a weekend and do some camping videos. But as you can see, I'm well prepared for a camping adventure. I wouldn't go in the woods without it. Oh, 
I forgot to mention, I have my folding saw on the bottom of the pack too. One of those uh, uh, eight inch folding saws. It's, they're, they're nice to have, I'll dig it out. Because you never know when you want to cut wood. Now there's the other thing of matches. And there's the folding saw. There's two blades to it, so it literally gives me two saws to use. If one, I mean if one saw gets really super dull, you can always use, start using the other one. And there's a Bay Ferry coming in. I hope uh, Papa Herschel and the crew had a good journey. And there is the, the lagoon. There was no sign of great blue herons. The great blue herons, they, uh, they have gone elsewhere because there has been a great big run of fish. And I'm sure that the herons found a really good spot for fishing or else they would have been here. But still, I, I managed to get some good videos of other things. Anyway, that is enough of this video.